because I was like, don't smack her in the face, Mia, because you wouldn't want that done to you. So you should just leave her alone and stand back in line where you where you were. I meant get back in line at the end of the line where you wanted Karen number two. Get over yourself. So then I thought to myself, don't open your mouth, man. Don't pull your phone out of your pocket. Don't take any notes and do not tell her that you're going to talk about her today <laughs> on the podcast. Thank you, Karen, for subscribing to our podcast. <laughs> Coming to you from 125 Carver in Waco, Texas, it's the Riverside Weekly. We hope your time with us today is thought-provoking, spiritually challenging, and a life-changing experience. Our discussions are fun, real, and at times very uncomfortable. We highly encourage all of our guests and listeners to like and subscribe, and please ring the bell. Now, here are your hosts, Pastor Cello and Pastor Mia. What's up, guys? Good morning. Welcome. Welcome to the podcast. It's, it's Podcast Wednesday. Wednesday. Man, we have uh, we hit 1,000 subscribers. Woo-woo. Bam, man. Bam, bam. And we couldn't have done it without you. you. So, man, appreciate you guys continuing to like, subscribe, man, listening to us on Spotify, iHeartRadio, all the podcast platforms and all that cool stuff, and YouTube. Yeah. So, man, appreciate that. Uh, this is, ad was brought to you, you by, by YouTube. Yes. So, well, not necessarily. I no. know. I'm just kidding. But anyway, so um, good week. Cowboys won. Baylor won. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the Baylor. It's New so. Shirt Wednesday. Mm-hmm. 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 New shirts. Uh-huh. Right here. Oh, I meant to ask you about your shirt because I heard you telling uh, uh, my grandson what it was, but um, I was like, how would he even know what that is? Well, I was and trying to explain it to him. I was trying to introduce him okay, but to the Okay, I don't even know what it is. In my laptop, I put in there, metal guy. <laughs> because... Well, if you look close, right here... Yeah, I'll see. Um, if you know who this is, then you know who this is. And if you don't? And if you don't? Then you don't. Then you just don't. It's one of those t-shirts, you know. Uh, Actually, it's called a Cylon. I was like, why didn't you just say, if you know who it is, message us. Oh. Well, and we could have sent you a t-shirt. Could have sent you a t-shirt. But it's too late. You gave us all the answers. Well, yeah. If you want a t-shirt, 30 bucks. <laughs> My wife will hook it up. Thanks for adding all the shipping. We anyway, love that. Yeah, that's shipping included. So, mm-hmm. anyway, it's a Cylon. So if you don't know where a Cylon is, but go- yeah, that means a just lot. Just Google to me. Cylon. Enough said. Is that with an S? Is that with a C? Is that with a Y? We don't know. Try it. You'll like it. <laughs> try it. Try You'll it. You'll like it. Try and figure it out. No, um, man, people can be lazy, bro. They don't want to. Well, exactly. How do you spell that? Man, just start typing. It'll fix it. Mm, sometimes. <laughs> anyway, um, special shout out today. We don't do this very often, but Uh-oh. it is a special shout out to my auntie. It is her uh, heavenly birthday today. And as well as it is um, birthdays, it's quite a few birthdays today, but it is my aunt's heavenly birthday. And I wanted to make sure that we celebrate that today. Yay. So. Thanks for watching over us, auntie. So. Anyway, that was my shout out to her. Um, But also, too, I wanted to say that we hadn't forgotten about you. If we haven't shouted you out, you just have to tell us that you're watching because we find out all the time that people People are watching. People are watching, and we but you don't tell us anything. So how would we know? Yeah, because unless you have your, and this is the thing that I realized is um, unless you have your settings on your YouTube channel, like to where we can see that you're subscribed. Um, we don't even know if you're subscribed or even that you're watching. Or you could be you like me and not be subscribed and not like the video that you just watched. <laughs> there you go. I'm in. So, it happens. Yeah, we, we get a lot of those too. So if you want us to know you're watching, man, hit us up. We got some new stuff. My, uh, I guess a couple of podcasts back, she was talking about some stickers and man, T-shirts and all kinds of. Jade. Product, yeah. Uh, we got Jade. we got a product. Well, it's product is merch. coming. It's merch, 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 merch is coming. So use the right word. We're, um, <clears throat> we are, uh, yeah, for real. Like not product, it's merch. Okay, so we got some merch coming, man. So if you want to get some of that stuff, man, definitely leave a comment. Hit us up if you got our numbers. Text us or whatever. Direct DM us on our social media platforms. Um, the Riverside Waco on pretty much every uh-huh. platform. Anyway. Mm-hmm. So. And we'd love to put our 
picture on a shirt for you. <laughs> All righty then. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> hey, 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 no, we just did a photo shoot. Yeah, Shout out to Miranda because, yes. I mean, she hooked us up. Hooked I'm not sure, you know, what, what the name of her uh, business is. Yeah, We're no, bad. No. We'll just put a link, okay? Cause Hold on, we, I can look. We don't know, but it's Miranda Flores and... Um, Shout out to the Flores family because uh, they got yeah, us. Let's see. You don't uh, know it? I have to look, man. I don't oh know. my gosh. This is going to take too long. It is. Keep talking. Okay. Um, so you usually ask me, what are we talking about today? It's called or Origins Creative. Ooh. Origins Creative. Origins underscore Ms. Flores. creative. Yes. Okay, Origins Creative, Un Origins underscore Creative. Thank you. Yeah. Shout out to Origins underscore Creative because they made us look so good. Almost professional, if you will. Oh, God. It was professional. Sorry. No, us looking almost professional. Yeah, because the photography, if it wasn't the, for, for the photography being professional, we would. They would have just been us on phones. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway, so today <laughs> we're actually talking about something. There was so many things I, uh -oh. I didn't realize. I was very, very busy. Um, I've been busy, and I was thinking about um, some of the things that, uh, you know, okay, let me, let me just. That was good. And we're back. So let me say this. Have you ever been in line somewhere and you want to walk like a Christian, act like a Christian, and talk like a Christian, but... The line make you act like a heathen. Yeah, but not even that. I Do mean, you even know Jesus? Right? You, really, honestly, y'all, so let me just, let me start here. All right, so I am saved. About? Let me say that. <laughs> okay. Sounds pretty questionable to me. Yeah, but here's what happened. So I'm just going to start with this. I was in line. Uh, a lady was in front of me. I promise you I'm not racist, so I won't use colors <laughs> because people think I'm racist. No, 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 no. Let me eh, scratch that. My kids think I'm racist because I use colors still to describe people, okay? Evidently, in now and day and age, everyone gets their feelings hurt if you use a color. Bro, just call me an Indian or call me Native American and I'm okay. Or call me Mexican or actually... I don't go by Mexican. Oh, I go see, by how, Spaniard. Oh, now we're upset. I go by Spaniard. Now we're checking ourselves. Well, I go by Mexican, Spaniard. I'm Spaniard. Spaniard or Native American. Mexican just got thrown in there because we were all together. I don't know. We're from whatever. Mexico, bro. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, you I'm go not back to the other side of the board. I'm not disowning my Mexican side. I'm just saying that I like to be preferred. Or what did you say the other day? I like to be. Um, um, I I. I uh, you should have never put these here, man. Uh, what's the word you said? I identify. See what she did? She just moved no. I identify me. as Spaniard. Oh yeah. And Native American. There is Mexican in there. Okay. Anyway, so I was in line. I was in line. Let me finish the story. They're all hanging on to their coffee. Well, um, I was thinking about. Tell me. When you're talking about all that, yes. I'm thinking about that scene in Selena, where they're driving. He goes. We gotta be Mexican for the Mexicans. We gotta be Americans for the Americans. You gotta do. You gotta know both English and Spanish, both cultures. He goes, and it's not like it's other on the other side of the, uh, the globe. Yeah. It's next door. Like yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. The street. Yeah. Anyway. So, so that's, that's how, how I feel. Yes, that's how I feel. So saying all that to say that I was in line behind a lady, and there were two ladies in front of her. She tells me. I was in line behind them because she was standing over there and instead of in line. And this this whole podcast should be about lines. But anyway. Lines or lions? Lines. <laughs> lines. <laughs> lines. Line. Okay. Line. Una lina. Okay. So then I'm behind this lady and she tells me uh, I'm in line behind those elderly ladies or those ladies. And she was way over here. And I'm thinking the line's right here, lady. And I'm like, well, who even made that up? Who even said we could get in a line? Right. So. Then, these are the things going through my head, y'all, no, while I'm standing in line. Okay? So then, another lady comes up, and we're just going to call her the same ethnicity as the lady in front of me. Okay? <laughs> <coughs> Karen. <coughs> anyway, so the two Karens were in front of me, and my, my uh, family members were in front of me. They were not. They were just of the same ethnicity, Okay? And oh, I'm done. Keep going. Okay. This is hilarious. So then 
the two Karens start talking amongst themselves, and I'm reading lips because I can read lips. So I'm reading her lip, and she's giving some pertinent information, but she's only going to give it to her friend Karen. And I thought, hmm, just because I'm not the same color as you are doesn't mean that you shouldn't share that information with me because if I had some information, I would share it with you, right? So these are the things going through my head while I'm in this line. Then the other lady in front of, listen, the two Karens, Keep going. I'm listening. they decide, the one, the first Karen, number one, decides that Karen, number two, even though there's already four people behind me, <laughs> you can go in line with me. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Oh, so they were letting somebody cut. Yes. Karen number one was letting Karen number two cut. And there was already four people behind me. Remember, Karen number one was in front of me. So Karen number two should have been number six back there. Okay. Mia doesn't say anything. Not a big deal. I'm like, mm, do unto others as you would want done unto yourself. Show them. They will know you by your love. Okay. <laughs> so I'm like. So. My question, are you behind these two or are you in front of these two? I am behind them. Okay. Okay. But they're not in the line because they're Karens and they're standing over by the pole. Okay. Okay. We don't have to be in that line because you people get to be in that line. I was like, mm. They said that? I could tell. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Just, just clarification. Oh, just thanks, clarification. Thanks. Not confrontation. Not okay. confrontation. Anyway, so Karen number one and Karen number two decided that they were going to go through line together. And I said, it's okay. That's fine. Because she says, oh, were you behind me? You literally just told me two minutes ago that you were in, in front of me. So you're asking, you're answering your own question, Karen number one? Mm, okay. Anyway, so Karen number two and Karen number one proceeded to go in through the door. Not a problem. Afterwards, it was my turn. I went in line, and the lady says, you need this. And uh, I said, it's in my car. She says, okay, go ahead and go get it out of your car. I go out. I walk to my car. I come back. Two people have gotten in line since then. Okay, not a big deal. She just tells me, bring those two papers, drop them off, and we'll get back with you. Not a big deal. There's this young little lady and a man in line. And I said, hey, hun. I said, she just wanted me to go to my car and grab these papers. Do you mind if I just take them into her and drop them off in the, in the little tray? She says, uh, I'm, 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 I'm on lunch. Why would I let you in? I was like, uh, okay. <clears throat> Do unto others as you would want done unto yourself. I take two steps back behind the man in front of me and her. And they weren't even Karens, by the way. So I just said, Hmm. Do unto others as you would want done unto yourself. They will know you by your love. They will know you by your love. I did not want to love this little girl that was in She's line. Like, I'm going to talk about this on a podcast. Later. I did. I wanted to tell her. I wanted to tell her. Hmm. I have my phone out and I'm about to take some notes and I'm going to talk about you on the podcast today. And then I thought only Karen would do that, man. <laughs> so here we are. So thank here we are. Hey, thank you for joining our podcast today. We have a special guest. Karen. Karen. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, saying all that to say that the it, I didn't have that attitude behind it, but it did made me, it made me think those actual thoughts, which was, they will know you by your love, Mia, and then uh, do unto others as you would want done unto yourself. And so I thought, well, I let Karen number two in line. Little girl, you should have let me in line just to drop these papers off. But you were, because you from Southside and you acting like, <laughs> like we going to run so you over. So we just assume that they're a I don't little know. dark color people. Yeah. Anyway. Brown folks. Anyway. Southside. What do you want me to call them? Yeah, they're <laughs> Southside. I mean, <laughs> if they were from Northside, they wouldn't be. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just teasing. Anyway, so it just made me think about that. I'm, I'm so laughing. glad that I'm. I'm, I'm you are making you're, me laugh. Good. Today. I'm it's glad. Funny. That's what I was hoping I would do. Okay. So anyway, I just thought about that, and, and I thought to myself immediately, do unto others as you would want done unto yourself. Do it. And I had to repeat that to myself several times because I was like, don't smack her in the face, Mia, because you wouldn't want that done to you. So you should just leave her alone and stand back in line where you where you were. I meant get back in line at the end of the line where you wanted Karen number two. Get over yourself. So then I thought to myself, 
Don't open your mouth, man. Don't pull your phone out of your pocket. Don't take any notes and do not tell her that you're going to talk about her today <laughs> on the podcast. Thank you, Karen, for subscribing to our podcast. <laughs> so glad you can join not us. Not Karen, the <laughs> other little girl. So anyway, I didn't and I thought, Mia, they will know you by your love. So that made me think about those two scriptures and I started dissecting them while I was waiting in line. Okay. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, now we're getting to the real thing. Yeah, now, now we're going to get to the real thing. Let me put my glasses on so that I can <laughs> thoroughly read you Karen's notes. Just kidding. <laughs> so here's what it says that um, it says, uh, uh, let me see. This is, will you will know them by your love. It says, Jesus said, by all this, people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. If I didn't have any love for her, I would I would have told her, hey, I'm going to talk about you on the podcast. Or I would have said, girl, stop acting up. Just let me buy. <laughs> I just got two pieces of paper. Or I could have just cut right in front of her and went inside the building. Excuse me. Yeah, no, not excuse me because <laughs> it would have just been like, <laughs> bye. Anyway, walk. Okay. But I didn't. And I just wanted to say, this is what I thought too. Um, do unto others as you would want done unto yourself, right? Okay. So it says, this verse says, uh, love your neighbor as yourself. The imperative word here, here being as, the long form of this phrase would be love your neighbor as you love yourself. This implies that in order to be kind, <laughs> pas compassionate, and generous to our neighbor, we must first be these things to ourselves. Or even know that you're having that attitude towards yourself. Yes, yeah. So I put myself in check at that moment and was like, Mia, l Mia, uh, what did I say? The first one was, do unto others as you would want done unto yourself. And then I had to remind myself, and I, I, y'all, I heard my auntie in my head. This is what my auntie said. Ooh, I just made a little rhyme there. She said, they will know you by your love. They will know us by our love. She says that all the time, and it made me think of her. And thank God for Meditation Mondays and, um, what do you call it, uh, peace and prayer, because we, she'd be praying over us. And let me tell you, it puts me in the goose fraba mode, which is <laughs> goose fraba, you know, type thing. So, anyway, <clears throat> keeping me at peace in a bait. Anyway, the other one was, uh, this one made me think about it because, y'all, I promise I'm not racist, but this is what I thought. I thought to myself, yeah, Lord, the days are evil because she didn't let me go in front. <laughs> Immediately, I did. The evil days. I was like, we're here. We're at the evil days. Bro, you could have just let me in to drop these papers off. All these, these years of letting off. people cut in line. Yeah, and so I thought immediately. See, I am letting you on to my life right here because this is truly what I think. And I thought exactly. I thought, mm, you know. She didn't have to let me buy because the days are evil and they are coming. <laughs> People are going to be worse than this. So, Mia, you should just be thankful that she didn't, you know, manifest a demon right there and be like, no, you know, type thing. But she didn't. And so I'm just like, whoa, whoa. That's funny. Yeah, so I had a Bill and Ted moment. Whoa, whoa, whoa type thing. And Arima hit me. So here's that, too. It says, make the most, this is it, the, uh, um, the day of evil, okay? What does it mean to make the most of every opportunity? Well, what does the Bible mean by evil? Make the most of every opportunity literally means to redeem the time. We are all given an equal amount of time each day. How we use it determines its value. When we redeem the time for Christ, we place the utmost value upon it. Every minute we use to share our faith in Christ is priceless, uh, is of priceless eternal value. Did I share Christ with her? You say no. Some of you are saying no. But I did because I didn't snap. I didn't snap back. I didn't roll my eyes. I didn't even, I didn't even smack my lips. I did nothing. Immediately the word came to me. How's your tongue? Were you biting your tongue? No. No blisters on no, your tongue? No, no bite? No, no, no. No tooth marks? No, no. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I didn't do, that's what I'm trying you to did. tell you. I didn't do any of that. Immediately the word rose up in me and I heard, 
uh, not not that she was hurting. I immediately didn't didn't take her as that. I might have taken her as evil, but I didn't take her as hurting. I mean, no, I'm just teasing. But immediately I heard, do unto others as we would want done unto ourselves. And then I heard, they will know you by your love. Immediately as she said no, she could have been nasty. She could have been ugly to me. She could have done whatever. But for me, and, and you know, that's where, th this is where we're going to get controversial right here. Uh -oh. That's where there people get upset with Christians because they say, oh, you're pansies. You bow down when people buck up to you. We're not bowing down. We're saying they will know us by our love. And so by our love, by God's love, I said, she may be hurting. She might just not even know any better. She might be evil. She might truly be on lunch like she said she was. That's fine. I don't need to buck that and make her angry at me. And honestly, y'all, I'm going to be real honest. I was already listening to the Riverside Sermon, and I was actually going to push play because I was standing in line and having to wait, and I was like, you finna get some Jesus, girl. <laughs> you know, and then I was like, da, da, da. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't. And uh, it was just, I don't know. I, it just made me think about that. And I just thought about that. They will know us by our love. And, and the days are evil. So are we going to spend every minute or every other minute coming at somebody or bucking up to them or bucking back or giving them our peace of mind or our two cents? Because the days are, they're evil. We, we, what do you always say? We all have the same 24 hours a day. It just depends on how you're going to spend it. I could have been mad. I could have been frustrated. I could have walked off, but I wasn't. No, I didn't do any of that. You weren't I'm with just, me. I'm just messing around. I didn't. I'm just picking on you. Okay, I was like, I didn't. Trying to get a rise at you, girl. I know. <laughs> You're like, click, 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 Hitting that remote. I'm over here like. Oh, girl, tell me more. Tell me more. Did you pull your earrings off? Did you swing that back? No. But I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying that it made me think. And I think that's really what life should do. That's how we should live our moments that we're awake. We should actually think, are we wasting it on this bad thought? Are we wasting it on this um, uh, ugly word? Are we wasting it on rolled eyes? Are we wasting it on smacking our lips? Are we wasting it on peeing on company time? <laughs> are we wasting on pooping on company's time? Are we wasting it on chit-chatting at the water fountain? I mean, I don't I don't work in an office like that, but I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> that was for some of you out there. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm just saying it made me think about that. The days are evil and we're, we're, we need to take advantage of every minute that we have. We don't need to waste it. Don't waste time on being angry. Don't waste time on being, um, uh, sad, being victimized, being, um, what's another word? Come on. I don't know. I'm listening. Okay. You're preaching over um, here. Don't waste time, period. Don't waste time. We, we only have so much of it left. Why can't we celebrate it? Let's celebrate the time that we do have. Thanks, Aunt Gloria, because I, I got that. I heard that from her. We're celebrating her life today, you know? And so for me, why would we waste any time, you know? It just made me think. Yeah. I remember um, pastor used to say all the time, you know, if, you know, if you're having a hard time, that's why I was asking, did you bite your tongue? Cause I he didn't. Used to say, no, because he, he used to say, you know, if, if you're having a hard time, not, if you're having a hard time not speaking or you want to speak or share and you really shouldn't, you know, like bite your tongue, just bite. Like I remember I used to just be like, oh, mm -hmm. like, oh, I want to say something so bad and just literally bite my tongue. So I wouldn't bite my tongue. And then. A mentor of mine, um, he had he um, he had this this acronym. Okay, right? Tell me. so and it was it's called Wait, Ooh. right? And I think I may have shared this once before, but it's called Wait. It's like why are no why am I talking? You know, like why am I talking? I think I've shared that on yeah, one of the other yeah, podcasts. Yeah, I you think know, you why, did too. Why am I talking? You know, and so that's what that's. Is there a reason that you have to say something? Do you have to interject your emotional, mental, spiritual your Whatever it is that you're at, do you have to say something or can you just process that yourself quietly in your head, in your heart, in your mind, you know, like, oh, you know, 
and and allow the that, Holy Spirit to, yeah, to correct allow that, you. Allow, allow that to, to work on the inside of you instead of just expressing yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's where, where we today, I think we we literally live in a society without self-control. Yeah. Like we always have to tweet. We always have to snap. We always have to TikTok. We always have to post, DM, share. Like we, we, we as individuals, both in the church and outside the church, we feel like we have to let everybody know what we're thinking, what we're feeling. Um, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, socially, like we, we have a hard time just being mature enough to digest what's going on within us personally, instead of like, well, you know, you got to send a tweet, got to send a post, mm. like, like, and that's going back to what you say, like, that's why people are all up in arms about everything is because nobody wants to digest things personally or mm. in the private setting, like, you know, have a discussion amongst your peers, amongst people, you don't have to tweet everything, you don't have to share everything, and I think that's why we live in a society that we have and the culture that we have today is because we're literally constantly posting anything and everything that we're going through, you know? Mm, yeah. Like when you sit down to eat, like before you even eat, before you pray, like, let yo, let's take a picture of our food so we can show everybody <laughs> hey, what we're eating. Shh, don't be talking about me. You know, anyway, so that's just my two cents. Well, that's funny because the Bible does say a wise man holds his tongue. And, and I'm very proud of myself that I was able to process that right then and there and actually uh, glean from that and actually uh, process it in a good way and get a word out of it. That's what I was proud of. I was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You <laughs> so know? the moral of the story is be careful when you let people cut in line. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Not because at all. there may be somebody there who may not like that. <laughs> or the next person might not let you cut yeah. and you might be angry about it. Right. But I mean, I don't know. I I, I looked at it as sowing seed because I was like, oh, come on, Karen, number two. Maybe somebody else will let me in line, you know. And I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call them Karens because they really weren't. But <laughs> they weren't letting me in on the info <laughs> that I needed. Oh, but I got yes. it from reading the lips and stuff. So, That's But funny. anyway, I just thought I'd let y'all in, into the life and the the day and life of Mia. That is Trauma. what I. <laughs> that is what I go through when I'm by myself. I, if I if I'm somewhere or out or doing something, something will happen and it triggers a thought. And I'm thankful that it triggered what was inside of me, and that's what came up. But yeah. I'll be here all week. week. Anyway, love you guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you got something. Please go celebrate your loved ones and celebrate the time that you yes, have. Absolutely. Don't waste it. Celebrate it. Absolutely. All right. We holler at you guys later. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe, share. We holler at you. Thank you for listening to the Riverside Weekly. Download the Riverside Waco app to stay connected and follow us on all social media sites at the Riverside Waco. This podcast is made possible by the givers of Riverside Community Church. Production and engineer provided by Capital G and RTV in Waco, Texas.